There are two vertebrae that bear special attention before we continue on, and that is the two vertebrae right up at the neck. Let me scooch this stuff to the side. These two vertebrae are cervical vertebrae that are right there at your head. Let me pull out the mock-up so you can see. Here is the what bone? The occipital bone. This is C1, cervical vertebrae 1, and this is cervical vertebrae 2, the first two vertebrae that make up the spine, cervical 1 and 2. They also have special names, and that would be C1, cervical vertebrae 1, is also known as the Atlas. Now, if you remember from your old mythology, Atlas was the god who held up the earth. He put the earth on his back and he held it there. This is named after him. So this is the atlas. This is holding up your skull, also known as cervical vertebrae 1. Cervical vertebrae 2, known as the axis, is weird because it's got this little sticky up thing. This little sticky up thing is called the odontoid process. The odontoid process, and we'll look at this more in the next lesson when we talk about joints and articulations, fits into let me try it again, fits into C1. This allows this type of movement. And like I said, we'll take a look at that in more detail. So C1, otherwise known as the atlas, C1, cervical vertebrae 1, cervical vertebrae 2, otherwise known as the axis, with the odontoid process right there. Let's keep going by taking a look at the sacrum. This is your sacrum. This makes up your butt. Let's see how this relates pulling up our model. Down here is your hips. Here is your sacrum and your coccyx. So let's take a look at the individual bone. This is the posterior side. This is the superior side. This portion is the sacrum this tail part is known as the coccyx. When you look inside the sacrum, you notice that there are lines that go across. This is where these individual parts fuse together. We call them transverse ridges. The holes are the sacral foramen. Now depending on if they're on the front or the back, we name them different things. If we look at the holes in the front, these are the anterior sacral foramen, and if you look at them on the back, they are, hopefully you're saying this ahead of me, the posterior sacral foramen. This ridge down here is known as the medial sacral crest. And again, one last time, this portion down here is known as the coccyx. These holes are great for letting nerves go through. If we look at our little mock-up, we see we have these little yellow projections sticking out. These little, little yellow projections are supposed to be nerves. And the last thing I want to talk to you about is the intervertebral discs. This thing right here is supposed to represent your intervertebral discs. This is made of a type of cartilage. It goes between the vertebrae. They form the cushion between the vertebrae. So when the vertebrae are together, they rest on something. This is the cushion that they rest upon. If we had bone against bone, we'd have a lot of damage here. These bones would hurt each other, rip apart, damage nerves, everything like that. So in between, we have this cushion made of a special type of cartilage, which we'll discuss in greater detail in the next lesson. The outer portion of this disc is called the annulus fibrosis. The internal portion, by the way, there's no hole in the middle. This is just for the model. The inner portion is known as the nucleus proposis. This middle part is more of a gel while this part is much more of a fibrous material. Now you might have heard of somebody having a 
herniated disc. What more or less happens there is some of the inner stuff, the nucleus pulposus, pushes out and bulges out. That's going to conclude our talk about the axial skeleton. You will see C1 and C2, as well as talking about the joints in between the vertebrae in our next lesson, which will be joints and articulations. But for the bones themselves, we are done, yay, talking about the axial skeleton. From here on out, our next video, we're going to take a look at the appendicular skeleton, the stuff off of the core, such as your arms and legs. So get to studying, and we'll see you for our next video.